Today's video is brought to us by Bright Sellers. More on them later on. I'm sharing four Blue Zone recipes with you in today's What's For Dinner video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. The theme for today's What's For Dinner video is Blue Zones. So what are the Blue Zones for people who have no idea what that is? The Blue Zones are five regions around the world where people tend to live the longest statistically. And these mysterious regions were studied by Dan Buettner, who is the founder of Blue Zones. And he's a National Geographic fellow and a multiple New York Times bestselling author. I'll leave Dan's book down below. But basically through his research, he figured out that there were five blue zones in the world where people were living the longest. Here are the five locales, Sardinia, Italy, the islands of Okinawa, Japan, Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica, Ikaria, Greece, and Loma Linda, California, which is literally right next to me, okay? So in these regions, people tend to live the longest, and of course there's multiple factors that contribute to that, but a major one is diet. So in today's What's For Dinner video, I'm sharing blue zone recipes with you with ingredients that are commonly used in these blue zones. So today we're going to be making hearts of palm ceviche, avocado fettuccine, pearl barley risotto, and creamy pumpkin marinara pasta. Now I didn't intend to make this a vegetarian what's for dinner, but it turns out that all of these recipes are vegetarian as well, so there you go. Let's start off with the hearts of palm ceviche. So hearts of palm are harvested from the inner core of certain palm trees, and Costa Ricans eat them cooked or in salads. They are rich in immune boosters, vitamin C, and zinc. You're gonna start off with some hearts of palm, which you can find canned in most grocery stores. So I'm chopping up my hearts of palm there. I'm adding some chopped red pepper, some chopped onion, and some chopped jalapeno. And you can make this really spicy or not spicy at all, it's up to you. Then I'm chopping up my green onions and cilantro, my favorite combination ever. <laughs> to this, I'm going to add mango. I thought that I would add this fruity addition because it could use something sweet and it turned out to be a really good addition to this recipe. The way I like to cut mango is by creating that grid with a knife on the mango and then scooping it out and it comes out in cubes really beautifully. I'm going to mix that together with the cilantro and green onion. And then I squeeze lime juice all over the top and season this with salt and pepper. And that is it. This makes such a great appetizer and it lasts for several days in the refrigerator. It was so delicious. We serve this with blue corn tortilla chips, but you could serve this with whatever you want. You could serve it with slices of cucumber would be good or even a flatbread or some sort of crostini. This was really delicious. It had all the ceviche flavors, but the hearts of palm really makes this one special. Next, we are traveling to Loma Linda, California. So two of the recipes are from the Loma Linda website and they have a lot of free recipes for you on there. So I'm gonna leave them linked down below. But I adapted some of their recipes for today's video. So the first one is avocado fettuccine. So avocados are everywhere in Southern California. I love them, you know I eat them with everything. They are packed with vitamin C, fiber, and healthy fats. So this shows you an interesting avocado sauce. It's really good. In a food processor or a blender like I'm using, you're going to place some minced garlic and then a handful of basil. Now, funny enough, I didn't have that much basil, so I used a bunch of chopped herbs and it turned out really good. So just use whatever you want, chopped herbs, basil, whatever. Place that in your blender along with some fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then you're going to take your avocado and put that in there. And you're going to want to thin this up. So I ended up putting oat milk in this, but you could thin it up with water or vegetable broth, whatever you want. And I added some salt and pepper 
and that's it. Is that not the world's easiest sauce? <laughs> so that's it. You just put it in the, the blender and it's all fresh. You don't cook the sauce. So meanwhile, I am cooking some fettuccine on the stove. If you don't want to use fettuccine pasta, you could use zoodles like zucchini pasta or even spaghetti squash. This would be really good on that. So check your sauce. If you need to thin it out even more, add even more liquid of your choice. And that's it. I put my cooked fettuccine in this serving dish and I pour the sauce on top, allow it to mix together and really uh, meld in there. And then when I plate it, I like to top this with grated Parmesan cheese and a little sprig of parsley. And this was delicious, so good. We also had some for the next day. My kids like this one. This is a major keeper. It's a really good recipe. I'm going to break away for one minute to tell you about Bright Cellars who kindly brought us today's video. So you might be wondering if wine is a part of the Blue Zone lifestyle. In certain communities, it is, not all of them. The studies found that time spent with family and friends and the occasional glass of wine with delicious dinners contributed to these people's longevity. So if you're going to drink wine, I have a wonderful company to share with you. It's Bright Cellars, who I have shared before on the channel. Bright Cellars is a wine subscription company that matches you with wines from all over the world to curate your palate. They find unique hidden gems from small vineyards, which I really love. Your experience is personalized as you take a quiz, so they gather your taste preferences. It's very convenient as they send the wine directly to you, so there's no need to head out to the store. Each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outline the tasting notes, suggested pairings, best serving temperature, and origin. I was excited to try this 2020 Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles, which I've spent a lot of time in Paso Robles. It's also near me as well. And the wine was great. It was full bodied and really delicious. Bright Cellars is giving the Daily Connoisseur audience 50% off their first six bottle box. Click my link below to get started on the quiz to find your preferred bottles. And thank you to Bright Cellars for bringing us today's video. Okay, the next meal is a pearl barley risotto. This was also taken from the Loma Linda website and I adapted it slightly. And it's such an innovative recipe. It replaces the traditional arborio rice that's found in risotto with pearl barley. So I have a lot of that from my pepper pantry, so I wanted to use this. So barley is a very healthy grain. It's rich in vitamins, minerals, and other beneficial plant compounds. It's also high in fiber, which is responsible for most of its health benefits, ranging from better digestion to reduced hunger and weight loss. So let's look at this pearled barley risotto. You're going to begin by sauteing some onions in oil over medium high heat. I'm using my mise en pan here. And to this, I'm going to add about two cups of cooked pearl barley. So I did an experiment and I cooked this barley in the rice cooker. And I think I did about a cup of barley to one and a half cups of water, but don't quote me on that. I just eyeballed it and it turned out really good. But I'll try to find the exact uh, procedure. You could do this in the rice cooker. You could cook it on the stove. It's good to soak them overnight the night before. And I think you get the most benefit out of it that way. So I'm adding that to the pan and cooking it a little bit. And then I'm going to add some heavy cream along with some vegetable broth. And the vegetable broth and the heavy cream are going to combine to make a really thick sauce. So you're going to want to cook this until that thickens. To this, I'm adding some peas and carrots that are already cooked. I think in the original recipe, they just added peas. You could add whatever you want, really. Now I'm adding some chopped herbs, that's parsley and some Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper, and that's it. I mean, how easy is this recipe? So you plate it like this, and then on top, I like to sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese and some chopped parsley from the garden. And of course, I serve it with some avocado. And this is so delicious. It would make great side dish, or you could even have this as a main dish. I found it to be delightful, and it really does have that risotto taste. It's a lot easier than making traditional risotto, which I always shy away from. And finally, we are making the creamy pumpkin marinara pasta. This was adapted from the Blue Zones uh, website. So I'll leave the original recipe as well as my printable recipe down below. So pumpkin obviously has many health benefits and it's highly nutritious and particularly rich in vitamin A. 
and so this is great. Again, if you don't want to use pasta, you could substitute something else, but it's comforting to know that the blue zones do eat pasta. They eat regular pasta, okay? All right, so in my cast iron skillet here, I am sauteing some onion with some oil, and then I'm going to add some garlic to that until it's brown. Now I'm adding an entire can of organic pumpkin here. I think the recipe only called for half a cup, but I added more, it turned out really good. So I'm adding the can of pumpkin marinara, and to this I'm adding a large can of whole tomatoes. I love those, especially the ones from San Marzano. To this I'm adding some herbs from the garden, and I have here some oregano, thyme, and basil. A little special ingredient here is cinnamon. I add just a dash of cinnamon to this, and it really brings out the pumpkin flavor. Of course, some salt and pepper, and you're going to let this cook. And that's it too. This is so easy. Maybe the Blue Zone people live so long because they have these easy recipes that aren't um, belaboring them. <laughs> so that's it. You pour this over pasta. I chose penne pasta this time. And I sprinkled this with more Parmesan cheese and added some shredded basil on top. So this is a very creamy and savory pasta dish. You really taste the pumpkin. So if you like pumpkin, you will like this marinara. And it's very easy. So. This was a really good one, and it's a great way to add some vegetables into the sauce, especially for your children. I hope you enjoyed this Blue Zones themed what's for dinner video. If you'd like to see more of these Blue Zone recipes, let me know. I could do more research on the best, healthiest vegetables and fruits that we could be eating in our diets and try to incorporate them into more meals. Thank you so much to Bright Sellers for bringing us today's video. Don't forget to use my link down below and you're going to get 50% off your first six bottle order. Thank you so much for joining me here on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.